I had the privilege of attending the World Anti-Aging Conference in Las Vegas in December of 2019. Last year, the buzz was fasting. This year, it was growth hormone for exciting reasons. Robert Goldman, who has treated over 20,000 patients with growth hormone, spoke about his new book and referenced over 390 studies documenting the benefits of growth hormone. Dr. Seeds also eloquently praised the effects of growth hormone, but he recommended a more natural uh, peptide route. Dr. Hertog, probably the world anti-aging leader, spoke several times about growth hormone. He also quoted over 390 references to its benefits. So who basically uh, is a candidate for it? Basically, anybody over 20 is potentially deficient in growth hormone. And the good news is there's been a change in the strict guidelines for growth hormone production, uh, prescription that is now more available to anybody that's a candidate. So how do you know you're developing growth hormone deficiency? Well, you could be putting on more fat, you could be losing more muscle, you could notice your exercise performance is starting to decline, your heart capacity is declining, or your bones are starting to get soft. Or you could really feel awful. Permanent fatigue is common, being easily uh, exhausted from physical activity, um, depression, low tolerance to staying up at night, insufficient aggressiveness, and uh, low self-esteem are common symptoms. Dr. Hertel recommends low-dose therapy. The low-dose treatment allows for less expensive treatment. So what are the examples? For example, well, if you are a heart patient, you should definitely take it. It has proven heart benefits in, ter in terms of improving uh, heart contractility and capacity, and also reversing the atherosclerotic process. Studies has also confirmed longevity. In this one particular study, patient, people who are very deficient lived 20 years longer if they were men and 35 years longer if they are women. I don't really expect that, but it definitely does improve longevity. So, um, Basically, uh, it should be repaired growth hormone because it improves muscle while it burns belly fat, it improves heart function, improves energy, brain function, sexual function, and confidence and general well-being. And now, more good news. American manufactured growth hormone is now available at reasonably affordable prices. In the past, it would cost as much as $650 for a normal dosage of growth hormone. But now with this one special supplier, if you have private insurance, you can get growth hormone for $85 a month. With, uh, without private insurance, it's $300 cash or $300 for Medicare. So this is about half the price of what it was running for full dose of growth hormone before, and much less if you have qualified insurance. So now our alternative doctor, Dr. Seas, would want you to use uh, uh, peptides, uh, two peptides that inquire a twice daily dosing. It'd be more expensive all of this, maybe about $200 a month and four injections, but there are some theoretical advantages to using this peptide combination. So I would encourage you to consider growth hormone as an option uh, for your treatment. You can make a peptide consultation with me and we can discuss your diagnosis and your treatment and potential benefits. I want to leave here with a closing word. Growth hormone is essential for normal adult life, without which life expectancy, expectancy is shortened energy and vitality are diminished, and the quality of uh, life is impaired. Uh, there's no question that the medical care and, um, uh, is now undeniably supported by scientific evidence. I'm Dr. Raymond Adamczyk of the Florida Anti-Aging Center. We're in Satellite Beach, Florida, 321-690-003. Thank you very much.